So far we've learned a bit about how Blender is structured and briefly what each component does. It's pretty awesome to know that Blender is powerful and all, but now let's just go ahead and actually learn to use Blender. So in this section, we will learn the main essentials of Blender navigation. We won't go through every single navigation key as there will be way too many to list. Instead, we will stick with the most important ones. You will learn the other keys as we progress throughout this course. So we'll start this video by introducing you to the concept of the Blender world. So in my 3D viewport over here, if you look at the bottom left hand corner of the 3D viewport, you will notice a red, green and blue colored thingy. Now, these are the X, Y and Z axes. The blue axis represents the vertical Z axis. The red axis represents the horizontal X axis. The green axis represents the also a horizontal Y axis, but perpendicular to the X axis. Each of the axes are perpendicular to one another. So in essence, the 3D world in Blender is made up of three axes, the X axis, the Y axis, and the Z axis. So every single object in Blender is mapped to a coordinate on these axes. So for example, let's take the default cube. If I go to the object data, you can see that, and let's just expand this out a little bit. You can see that there is a X, Y, and Z coordinate for this 3D object. So in this case, the cube is located at 0, 0, 0 coordinates. In other words, it's located at the center or origin of the 3D world. Say I want to move the cube three units to the right of the Y axis. Then I just go to the Y axis and hit three. We can also confirm this by counting the boxes. So if we look at the grid floor over here, each edge represents one unit. Since we moved our cube three units to the right of the Y axis, we can actually confirm that by counting. So one, two, and three. So if I just move that back to the origin again, uh, the same thing happens with rotation and scale as well. So if I want to scale the cube three units on the Y axis, I just hit three there. And you can also see that from our 3D viewport. One, two, three. But let's just focus on scale in another video. We're, we're focusing now on simply on position. So let's just put this back at three again. So the cube now has coordinates zero, three, zero. So that is its exact location in the Blender world, or more formally, the 3D view. Every object in Blender has its own coordinates. So if I select the lamp by right-clicking, you'll notice that it has those coordinates. If I select the uh, camera, you'll notice that it has those coordinates. And if you move them around, it updates in real time. The location changes. So every 3D object in Blender is mapped to one coordinate on the Blender world. So that's pretty much the takeaway message from this video. The 3D viewport is made up of the X, Y, and Z axes. The red represents the X, the green represents the Y, and the blue, which you can't see here, represents the vertical Z axis. And every object in Blender is mapped to one of these coordinates. That's pretty much all I have to say. Keep blending and I hope to see you in the next video.